He's technically been in his own mom. Uh, the only difference is not of her. Truth is, we're not actually here to roast Corey tonight. Some of the women here are here to file paternity suits, and some are here to collect child support. <laughs> Man, what a fucking motley crew. You know? I mean, look around. Christ, there's more STDs in this room than the lobby of the fucking Planned Parenthood. Seriously, like one out of three of us have STDs, and then Amy. Corey's <laughs> had a lot of sex. <laughs> and you dodged a lot of bullets. You were in the Matrix, apparently. Um, I was going to originally start out the night with the national anthem, and then I'm uh, looking right at uh, Casey and Lloyd, and I decided not to. <laughs> I didn't want to offend them. In all serious, let's, serious, let's have a big for our two token black friends tonight. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> Just kidding, don't shoot! <laughs> okay, I'm done picking on the blacks. Let's get to the queers. <laughs> Does everyone know what docking is? Yes. <laughs> if you don't, it's when two gay men put their penises together and they use each other's foreskin to masturbate themselves. Each other. Know that. Did you guys hear about the time two weeks ago that Big Gay Al and Auntie Jeff were docking? Al's huge belly button opening got suction cupped to Jeff's belly. They had to be surgically separated. That's fucking awesome. I wish I was gay. Jay Parrish is our first girls tonight. Jay and I have been friends since way before Brooke owned him like a little bitch. So You've heard of the Obama effect? Like taking on a huge responsibility like being the president or owning your own company, running your own company? I personally think it should be called the Parish Effect. I mean, look at it. 18 years ago, this guy was sailing the seas of the world as Seaman Parish in the United States Navy, young and fresh looking, full of life. <laughs> now look at him. Now he looks like he woke up under the Oneida Street Bridge. Now instead of being surrounded with semen, he's covered in it. In, in all seriousness, it may be rough on his looks, but at least he didn't turn into a huge stoner. Or worse, an alcoholic. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Seaman Parish. Fuck you, man. <laughs> nah, thanks, Jason. That's great. <laughs> One of my best friends, probably the only best friend that I have that has bigger tits than his wife. Oh. 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 You, did, you did great. You bet up there the most. Oh. <laughs> Look who just said something funny. No. The Sarsaparilla Sasquatch. I don't know why. I love that one. <laughs> John One Nut Gilkey. Fuck you! You're so fucking hard to write for, dude. The only things I could think of were the obvious ones. You're a wannabe ginger. You have a huge cranium. It's actually the second largest forehead in the Fox Cities. It's a, it's a five head. <laughs> you have dumbo ears. You, 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 you stutter, especially, especially, especially. You stutter, especially, especially, especially when you drink. You're a huge know it all. You're the best at everything. For the love of God, you only have one testicle. You're half a man. But you have this false sense of confidence. And you really are fucking good at everything. I hate it. God, I hate you. The only thing you have going for you, you have one thing going for you. 
you have just under an average sized penis. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. So uh, I'm going to bring up one nut. We'll see what he's got to say. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy's got one nut. <laughs> Jason references my penis. Hey, Grandpa! Because <laughs> Big Al over here has obviously uh, seen it, oh. received it. Oh. <laughs> that's the face that he made, actually. <laughs> it's weird, but whatever. Well, first of all, I want every girl in here to raise your hands. Pretend you're important. Come on, every girl. Come on, girls. Raise your, your hands. Raise your hands. All of you have fucked Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. It's so Dutch. Even my wife, Amy. Oh, Amy! <laughs> 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 so Corey wasn't so lucky. I would actually think that he was the father of my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Oh, shit. It's not even not going to be funny. Yeah, so the funny thing about Jason yeah. is that everybody here hasn't stated the most obvious jokes. There's two of them. Not really a joke, but the first one is, uh, you know, like, love Big Red, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and the second I need Corey to stand up for, because he's going to dance. <laughs> Trust me. And if anybody doesn't know this song, you may not, you probably shouldn't even be here. Flat Otis, flat, flat Otis. <laughs> flat Otis. What do you feed your babies? <laughs> It's only because he's not really sure where he is right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna say that he does things, but You 
stutter, especially, especially, especially when you drink. You're a huge know-it-all. You're the best at everything. For the love of God, you only have one testicle. You're half a man. But you have this false sense of confidence. And you really are fucking good at everything. I hate it. God, I hate you. The only thing you have going for you, you have one thing going for you. You have just under an average sized penis. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. So uh, I'm going to bring up one nut. We'll see what he's got to say. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy's got one nut. <laughs> well, it's funny that uh, Jason references my penis. Hey, Grandpa! Because <laughs> Big Al over here has obviously uh, seen it, oh. received it. Oh. <laughs> That's the face that he made, actually. <laughs> it's weird, but whatever. Well, first of all, I want every girl in here to raise your hands. Pretend you're important. Come on, every girl. Come on, girls. Raise your hands. All of you have fucked Corey. <laughs> Everybody here hasn't stated the most obvious jokes. There's two of them. Not really a joke, but the first one is, uh, you don't know, love Big Red, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and the second I need Corey to stand up for, because he's going to dance. <laughs> Trust me. And if anybody doesn't know this song, you may not, you probably shouldn't even be here. Flat Otis, flat, flat Otis. <laughs> flat Otis. What do you feed your babies? <laughs> It's only because he's not really sure where he is right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna say that he does things, but Some more of your own in a minute here. So. 
<laughs> Without further ado, Zachary Scott Schultz. Ever since I was a kid, I looked at Jane, One Nut, Jason, Corey, uh, and Mark as adults. And <laughs> Um, I am now an unemployed felon with four bastard children. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for the influences. This is a shit. <laughs> Some of you may recognize me, though, and you know, I, I thought about this joke, and then I was, I was, I was gonna lay it out, and it was, it was perfect. But then I realized half of you don't know him and it was homecoming, but I was going to introduce myself as Clint Ballard. And oh, oh, the minute that I caught wind that it was homecoming, I realized <laughs> <laughs> this was not in order. He fucks a little kid. Like three people uh, that are shit. Hashtags, we give them shit. Better ass. But, anyway. <laughs> Seriously, though, I'm, I'm Zach. I'm, I'm Jason's little cousin. And uh, I've seen most of the people in this room at their finest of moments. <laughs> Probably a way too young of an age. Uh, I mean, Honestly, the majority of the drug-induced memories I had <laughs> revolve around these guys. I mean, honestly, I was 14 years old, and Corey says, try these mushrooms. These are keep in mind. <laughs> keep in mind, Jason and Corey were 39. <laughs> and, you know, they introduced me to these mushrooms when Corey lived at his grandma's house <laughs> at 30 fucking nine years old. She wasn't living. Sure. <laughs> but at 14, holy shit, how cool were these guys, right? I mean, until the trip kicked in and when Tr Corey, he tried to suck my dick. <laughs> Just say, oh, well, okay, we can all suck it funny, but if you knew him, Corey and I, we honestly, we spent two-thirds of our friendship. <laughs> two-thirds of our friendship is revolved around making Urban Dictionary what it is today. I'm not even kidding you. This guy goes to me, he says, the Terry Shivo. Does anybody remember Terry Shivo? He goes, it's where you bust into a hospital. This is how big of a piece of shit. <laughs> Keep in mind, I was seven. <laughs> and a half. You're right. He goes, where you bust through the hospitals and you sleep rape coma patients. <laughs> but then I'm like, what is sleep rape? What is, what is this sleep rape? And he goes, that's how you get divorced really fast. Oh, no. oh. You, you would know. I would know. <laughs> I'm Jason's little cousin, and uh, I didn't know half of the people on this panel, so I did the obvious thing and I face stalk, Facebook stalked each and every one of them. All I'm going to say is, holy fuck, what a waste of time. The three greatest accomplishments here are somebody seems to be the surviving aftermath of Anna Nicole Smith and Michael Jackson's late-term abortion. Someone married the Filipino happy ending massage lady. And my personal favorite, scoring free Buffalo Wild Wings for life. Giving gay marriage a bad name. <laughs> Elle held a list and sucked cock for 20 years just to get free wings. <laughs> I mean, seriously, the only exercise this guy does is hiccuping. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if Jeff even knows that his dad's nickname is. Part 
Parmesan garlic. <laughs> in this room, whether I've met you or not, but the most of you I've met, I have known you for 10 plus years. This is a huge honor. Corey is one of the greatest people. Folks, or watch your pennies, folks, because he'll pinch him. Matt Pester! <laughs> Child of Lurch from the Adams family. <laughs> Fact, women fall at Norm's feet. Usually Fact, Norm trips a lot of women. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage the Kia Rio of all roasters, the Sarsaparilla Sasquatch, Norm Graber. Is 
dick is only seen as balls in pictures. <laughs> Six. <laughs> <laughs> and in the event of an emergency this evening, ladies and gentlemen, Corey's dick can be used as a personal flotation device. <laughs> in fact, Corey's dick is so big, his dick has a dick, and his dick's dick is bigger than your dick. <laughs> Uh, movie theaters are actually now serving popcorn in small, medium, large, and crazy <laughs> Due to the, uh, and this is kind of a common theme that we're hearing tonight, but due to the gravitational pull of Corey's dick, he has done quite well with the ladies. Um, in fact, Corey gets more pussy than a gynecologist. <laughs> uh, he's personally responsible for the over-the-counter sale of the Plan B or Day After pill, <laughs> mainly due to his face. <laughs> before with those giant eyes and I really appreciate what you've done for humanity by trying to improve your, your looks. <laughs> but in all honesty, I do have to say that anybody that knows Corey and that um, is privileged to call Corey a friend is better off for that. I don't know of any person that is more giving of himself or um, believes in people and gives his friendship so freely and dedicatedly to, to the people in his life. So here's to you, Corey. And I'm waiting for this one. <laughs> Our next roaster and I have been friends since before I banged his sister. Literally. His name is Mark Kruger. We're all so proud of the yeah, proud of Mark's climb up the Why would ladder like from a lowly busboy at Mr. and Mrs. K's in Greenville, to a line cook, to the head cook, to the executive chef of multiple establishments, to finally the creme de la creme of the culinary arts. Slinging almost expired cold cuts and grandma's potato salad, middle-aged women trying to use an expired 75 cent coupon at the Festival Foods Deli! stamps, some people collect uh, knickknacks, okay. hell, some people even collect butt plugs. <laughs> but Mark, Mark collects incontinent pets. <laughs> Let's hope his gross jokes don't stink as bad as his <laughs> Because it's really stinky. <laughs> Come on up, old friend! Mark Ritter! About Cory. Uh, what can I say about Cory? Good friend, brother, lover to many women, and living proof that God has a real sense of humor. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's got giant eyeballs. <laughs> I can't forget the first day that we met, even though I try every day. <laughs> Corey's been a longtime friend. I was there when his career as a graphic artist was just taking off with his 1995 I Stop for Penis Bumper Sticker campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Al, you bought one. <laughs> Before he worked really hard going to school for his career, and you have to have respect for somebody that does not let 
His education getting in the way of his ignorance. <laughs> 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 Corey's not stupid though, I mean, he just has real bad luck when he's thinking. <laughs> but at least he thinks very highly of himself. <laughs> I'm figuring when I'm finally ready to commit suicide, I will climb up his ego and jump down to Jason's IQ. <laughs> Tonight, I'm probably going to contact my local senator to see if we can probably get a uh, lifeguard in our nation's gene pool. <laughs> you know, Corey's a lover of all types of women. He does not discriminate. Blondes, brunettes, tall, short, thin, hippo-esque. <laughs> Married or engaged. Conscious or unconscious. <laughs> Builds up one huge collection of vaginas and all the bumps, colds, and rashes that they come with. Corey's had the clap enough times, we might as well just call it an encore. At least Corey doesn't have to worry about traps. The moment they touch his nuts, they just die. Corey goes through women like I go through whiskey bottles. <laughs> At least though, when I wake up the next morning, the bottles don't cry. <laughs> or <my herpes>. <laughs> <laughs> Poster and I go way back. Actually, I've never met her. Uh, that will stop me from burning her, like the sensation she gets every time she pees. <laughs> this girl's had more dongs than a church bell. <laughs> Please give a burning welcome to Kenzie Wise. Hi, everybody. My name is Kenzie. Gentlemen, nice to see you. I don't know very many of you. Ooh, wait, I don't think gentleman's a word I want to use. Uh, kind sirs, maybe. No, no, no. We're all friends of Corey's here, or you guys are at least. Um, misogynistic, humanistic assholes. Is that better? I'm sorry, we also have Joan Rivers over here. <laughs> This guy can talk. <laughs> and if you look at the Rolodex of the hundreds and thousands of women that Corey spent at least five seconds with, <laughs> you will find a woman that he once spent a little time with who he claimed could talk more than him. And as I'm sitting here questioning this and about to ask, like, well, how is this possible? He interrupts me and tells a 30 minute story about it. <laughs> and I'm thinking, and I'm like, wow, oh, how is this possible? Did she tie him up in a chair and put duct tape over his mouth and not in a good way? <laughs> but I mean, these kind of things happen to this guy. And although I haven't really seen the full effect of his eye surgery yet, let's hope that he has an easier time spotting the weirdos with the crazies. <laughs> and maybe he'll even be able to start to see that sparkly ring that someone you wear on their finger. ladies. I mean, they come at all hours, they show up at his house, banging on his door. Sometimes even their husbands and boyfriends do the same thing. <laughs> but who wouldn't? 
is, because, I mean, look at him. He, he's pretty dapper tonight. We took away the Coke bottle glasses, but usually he's look at that 90s freaks and geeks kind of look. The guy who's a broke 19-year-old whose band is going to make it big real soon. <laughs> And he's still going through that slightly awkward stage of leaping around and doing light kicks like Gumby became a cheerleader. <laughs> and I don't think anybody can deny that he is actually a really, really shy guy. Really timid, really shy. Because, you know, when he enters a room, you don't notice his height. That's not the first thing you notice. You notice him desperately trying to shove his ego out the door behind him. <laughs> Seriously, come on. Only Corey Gutenberg would organize a roast party for himself. <laughs> and actually get away with it. Because let's face it, none of you are surprised that you're here tonight for this. <laughs> that is so true. In all seriousness. I love you, buddy. Thanks for being here. Woo! Degenerates, there's criminals sexually depraved, and you know what? I got them all right here. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. In all seriousness, uh, we actually have a wedding anniversary with us tonight. Uh, uh, Matt and Mara Carr, how many years has it been? Five. Five years. Five years. Yeah. Five years. <laughs> I was there, I uh, screwed someone in the courtroom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I might have used the coin. Because <laughs> <laughs> he drinks too much, he can't get hired. We all know your secret story. We all know your secret He fucked you with that. <laughs> <laughs> that Do you know why he chose my birthday? To get married on? Tell us. Well, yeah, thanks. I will. <laughs> it was my birthday because every year when I invite him to my party, he can run out and grab her a gift. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I did notice there's a lot of happily married couples in the crowd tonight. Who's married? Come on, bring it out. Who's happy though? Uh, <laughs> I, I, it didn't last for me. I didn't have the secret, which I finally figured out. I finally figured out that secret to the longevity of marriage. It's uh, no sex and a small dick. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck, ladies. <laughs> I have to admit, uh, the night is the best part so far is uh, Watching your boobs bounce when you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jason, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. I see Casey's here tonight. 
one of my best buddies. Uh, he says, but he's uh, probably the whitest black guy you'll ever meet. But when he gets out of the shower every morning and looks in the mirror, he's reminded he's black. Because <laughs> he's got a huge wiener. <laughs> Uh, I got Jesse in the house, came out from Montclair today. Yes, hey. Woo! Tell me to look guys, uh, that's what a retired ballerina looks like. <laughs> Thanks for coming, man. Uh, I got uh, Mike, Mark, and Brant over here, you know, the oldest 20 year olds you'll ever meet. Uh, hey Mike, uh, thanks for bringing your little French baguette tonight. Woo! Jess, I appreciate you. I mean, you like your, your meat well seasoned. <laughs> it gives us all hope. Like she's old and she's younger. And old as fuck. <laughs> and I could have, she could be my child. <laughs> she probably is my child. <laughs> <laughs> I see uh, Kay and Tara in the house tonight. Uh, the milfiest of the gilfiest. Ladies, you're looking fantastic. Corey, do you want a drink? Uh, yeah, you do have a very uh, lengthy thing here. You want some to drink? You're ready to get ready for this. <laughs> Somebody get this guy a beer! I'll give him my own beer! Damn it, Randy, get him a beer! That's a first. Wait, what is buying? What? Weird. Somebody else bought it, don't worry about it. I once was blind, and now I see. <laughs> All a bunch of assholes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. But I gotta say, I'm super lucky. Because in the world today, there's drunks, there's perverts, there's druggies, degenerates, there's criminals sexually depraved, and you know what? I got them all right here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. In all seriousness, uh, we actually have a wedding anniversary with us tonight. Uh, we got Matt Marcar. How many years has it been? Five years. Five years. <laughs> I was there, I uh, screwed somebody up the cornfield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have used the corn. Because <laughs> <laughs> he drinks too much, he can't get hard. Thank you, Sam. Secret story. We all learned a secret. What's he fucked you with, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why he chose my birthday? To get married on? Tell us. Well, yeah, thanks. I will. <laughs> it was my birthday because every year when I invite him to my party, he can run out and grab her a gift. You son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> all right, I, I did notice there's a lot of happily married couples in the crowd tonight. Who's married? Come on, bring it up. And who's happy though? <laughs> It didn't last for me. I didn't have the secret, which I finally figured out. I finally figured out that secret to the longevity of marriage. It's uh, no sex and a small dick. <laughs> so good luck, ladies. I have to admit, uh, the night is the best part so far. Is uh watching your boobs bounce when you laugh. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, is it not? Uh, Jesse, Randy. Fucking ass. You're welcome. It's <laughs> cool. Boobs bounce. They, they, they run around crazy. Uh, I see Casey's here tonight. One of my best buddies. I hate to say this, but he's uh, probably the whitest black guy you'll ever meet. Yeah. Um, but, when he gets out of the shower every morning and looks in the mirror, 
He's reminded Because <laughs> <laughs> he's got a huge wiener! <laughs> Uh, I got Jesse in the house, came off from Montclair today. Yes, hey. It didn't last for me, I didn't have the secret, which I finally figured out. I finally figured out that secret for the longevity of marriage. It's uh, no sex in a small pit. <laughs> 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 So far is uh, watching your boobs bounce when you laugh. Usually you could throw a couple shots down her throat, slip a little music on. You know, uh, I've got the boobs out. Yeah. And those and Kathy's titties would be swaying in the wind. <laughs> now, when you see titties, there's certain rules to judge them. Titties, especially the Native American titties. <laughs> and here are the three rules for judging Native American Native American bazoons. All right. First, you have to take one with an eagle feather. <laughs> hey, I don't make up the rules. This is how it goes. All right. Second, you gotta be eating corn. I mean maize. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then third, you have to drum. You have to drum them like the stretched out old deer hides that they are. <laughs> boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada. That was it.